Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you how you can repurpose a quilt. So you may have seen this quilt on one of our previous videos, the scrappy binding video. But what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to repurpose it by adding some applique to it. I've got bored with this one and I want to give it away as a baby quilt. So I've decided that I'm going to do a little bit of applique on it and the applique can also add for some of the quilting. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some bond web and I'm going to trace a design. So you can see here that I've already done this B and I'm either going to pop him in one of the squares or I might pop him on the corner there. Um, I'm going to cut a few more things out and add them to the quilt and then I'm going to sew them on. So I'm just going to do a butterfly. So I've got one here that I've already drawn here and I'm going to trace over that one. Let's just slide the quilt out of the way a minute. So I'm tracing the butterfly onto some bonder web. So I'm just going to roughly cut that out. I'm not cutting it on the line. And then I'm going over to the iron and I'm going to press this onto the reverse of my fabric. And now I'm going to cut this out on the line. So I've got my butterfly and my bee. I could do four different designs and put them on each corner. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to break the back of the bond web. So I just want a pin. So I'm going to break the back of the bond web. And always remember when you're using bond web that when you've traced your design, it's going to come out in reverse. So I'm thinking about where to put this one. So I might just put it there. And then when I've stitched it on, I can also do a bit of free motion to give him some antennas like that. Or her, could be a him or a her. And I think I'm going to put my B onto one of these squares. So I think I might just put the B there. So for the time being, I'm just going to do those two. You could do more than that if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do those two to start with and see what that looks like. So I'm just going to take this to the iron and then I'm going to iron those in place. And then I'm going to come back to the machine and I'm going to applique those on using the sewing machine. Now you don't have to do that. You could do a little blanket stitch around if you wanted to. And that would again go through all of the layers. So it would form part of the quilting. So if you had a quilt that you thought, actually, I haven't done enough quilting on this. It needs a little bit more. You can always do it afterwards and you can put some other pieces on like we've done here. You can applique other things or you could shadow quilt around it if you wanted to. So you can always make more of it. So I've just noticed that the antennas come up there. So I'm gonna just iron that again. No, I think what's happened there is the bond web hasn't come completely away. No, 
that's better. So now I'm going to the machine and I'm just going to start to blanket stitch around these. Before I do that, if you like what we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. You can meet the team. You can see lots of hints and tips and best practices and we'll answer all of your questions in the comments below. So I'm just going to sew around the edge of the butterfly and I'm going to use a little blanket stitch. So I've got the foot on that is good for quilting and it's also got an open gap there. So it's good for an applique stitch. So you can see that I've appliqued the butterfly. I've just used a blanket stitch going round. And then if I wanted to make the antennas, I'm going to use a fabric marker pen so I can draw them because if I'm not happy, then I can iron them off and draw them again. So I'm gonna come something like this and then do an extra stitch at the end. So you can see that we've got a lovely butterfly there. So we could do one on each corner. We could do another bee or we could do a dragonfly. So you can see how you can change a quilt and actually put more quilting in. If you wanted to do even more quilting, you could come around this with another stitch to do shadow quilting. You could do this by hand or if you're really good, you can do free motion. I'll be doing mine by hand. So as I always say, make it your own, have fun, and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.